Hello everyone, this is isaacfw.io. This video will be about our L3 Plus firmware. It's maximum safe overlock. So we have a standard L3 Plus here, 504 mega hash. The power supply is ASIC51. Let's see what we have on the web interface. There is 605 mega hash. It's been working for 28 minutes already, and the energy consumption in the web interface is 1073 watt. And here it's been uploaded. I should tell you that the firmware is designed so that the minor status pages are updated each 10 seconds. Let's see what the watt meter shows, and it shows. 1045.50 watt. So we have a small difference with the web interface value. It's uh, so because um, it is made with the margin, with some reserve. As different power supplies give different efficiency. ASIC uh, 51 has higher efficiency than any other so the energy consumption is a little lower. So a small overlock, a little raise in the energy consumption. I will now show you how I achieved this result. We go to Auto Tuner configuration, we choose uh, Overlock and click Save and Run. Actually, I've already done this beforehand. And we see the result, 650 mega hash. I also want to make a short overview about our new options. I totally forgot to mention in the previous video the function we have. You can see it here, disable fan check. It means you can switch off the fan check. It is made specifically for those who put their hardware into the immersion baths. If you are interested, we have our own development considering the immersion baths made of plastic and stainless steel, whatever you choose. Let's also check uh, the folder named redirect percentage of ASIC speed. This is a so-called hotel fee. We made it so that everyone who doesn't have many devices who provides support could just add his or her additional fee and not estimate anything. It is specifically made here, so we input the pool here, the worker password, and here we choose our additional percentage to our pool. This tick gives us an opportunity to remove the hotel fee from minor status. Here we can see the uh, asterisk symbols. If we click this bullet, we won't see them. So I'll show you how it works. We put the tick, click Save and Run. Our device will reboot now. Here we see the automatic switch to minor status. And we need to wait a little bit to see the result. Apart from this, there is also an opportunity to locate your devices. The devices will be under our control. You might have remote access if you want it. We can see that asterisks uh, are still here. This is because we didn't fill in this data here. Let us do it again. I want to copy the settings.
For example, I chose 3%, I put the tick, save and run, and it should automatically switch to minor status. Yeah, it happens. We only need to wait for the minor to upload. Also, if any of you is interested, we have the containers for mining on sale. They are automatic, um, semi-automatic, where the climate system is automatic and just mechanical, manually operated, uh, whichever you wish. They can contain from uh, 180 to 550 devices. It all depends on the platform on which you plan to set the containers. The production time of the container is about two weeks. All the information about the container can be found on our website. So this is what I wanted to show you today. We can see no asterisks uh, now here. The additional fee can be seen or checked when your pool is set. And uh, as I usually do, I will now restart the device. So we can check it with our wattmeter. You can download the firmware from our website asicfw.io in the firmware section. So our miner has restarted. Again, standard L3 plus 504 mega hash. Thanks everyone. See you.